What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Railroads Online, joined once again by Dapper. Hello Dapper, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you doing? I'm doing good, you'll notice we have both Betsy's out on the track. We got an exciting episode planned. I need to fill the sawmill, uh, my sawmill's yeah. getting empty, it needs more lumber to fill it up. And I figured rather than just, you know, running a single boring sawmill train, we're gonna run two... But we're gonna do this a little special. Neither of us is going to drive the trains. We're just gonna sit at the logging camp and we're gonna sit at the sawmill and we're gonna send trains back and forth. So I'll sit at the sawmill unloading them and you can sit at the saw at the uh, logging camp filling them and we'll just, you know, send them down the track towards each other full steam ahead. Yeah, we're, we're gonna like mail each other some some trains. Yeah, exactly. This is like train mail. This is it's perfect. <laughs> it's it's uh we're we'll call it T mail, <laughs> not email, email. it's T mail. But yeah, it's we're basically just going to send trains down the track fully loaded until the sawmill's loaded back and forth. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully they don't derail. We'll just should be able to just set the reg and let it go. And, you know, that'll be that'll be that. So uh, Betsy 2 is filling with water currently. Let's just um, yeah. get Betsy 1 hooked up. Do you want to grab that? We'll bring it forward. Get it sure. into this logging siding. Now we have I have 10 logging cars total. So we're going to do five on each, which should be 30 logs on each. Which should fill the logging camp in no or the sawmill in no time. Oh, you're you're good. You're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. yeah you you just gotta yeah. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, just gotta over. Yeah, over. A bit. over no yeah, worries. no, come back into this switch. But yeah, it it's should fill the logging camp. Um, I think there's like 60 planks or something. I want to fill it completely, like let it craft and then you know actually fill the logging uh lake as well, so it's completely full. Oh, you know, okay. You know what I mean? Which is like right, gonna be a right. hundred plus logs at least. It's gonna be a lot of logs. I feel like it's gonna be efficient. It's gonna be, yeah. it's gonna be nice. Just kind of hang out, waiting for the trains to arrive. You know. Yeah, as long as they don't derail, we'll be fine. That's really the issue. Now, of course, I only have a single track, right, between the two locations. So we just gotta make sure we don't send two trains down the track in opposite directions at the same True. time, and we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we should be fine. That should be easily avoided, though. I feel like yeah. in the time it takes to load, the other train will be driving, and then once that train's loaded, it'll be driving while the other one's getting loaded. So, you know, it'll be... That'll be the determining in, factor. In theory. In theory. It's fine. We've really we've really thought this through well. Right, science. Yeah, science. All right, perfect. So we got to take both of them to the logging camp right away. Um, do you want to grab this one? I'll take the other, the leader just so I can flick the switches that we need to do. And that way we'll sure. guaranteed make it there. Yeah, odds are I'll derail on the way, so well, sounds good to me. I figure you might just forget a switch. We'll end up in the iron mine or something. Yep. Wait, so we're just going to bring them both there to start. And yeah, because then we, we'll one? load one up. And yeah. while that one's and loading... I'll then i'll stay to load the next one load the next one yeah while the, that one goes to the thing but but all what we'll do is while you load the first one i'll walk the track and reset all the switches to where they need to be you know so that the line is is good to go okay there's going to be one cool. switch because there's a loop at the sawmill and a loop at the um logging camp so there's going to be one switch you're going to have to flick back and forth as trains come in right right and you're going to do the same out and here. i'm going to do the same at the sawmill but other than that, that's oh, it. Right. We each just man one switch, and I'll set all the rest of the line, the switches in the line to be good. Okay. Cool. Should all work out. I feel like you're gaining on me. A little bit. Are these the same speed? Uh, well, you probably have more traction because of your weight, but I have more power technically because of my. I mean, I think their top speed is the same, yeah, because it's the yeah, same like mechanism, the same. right? Right. Yeah, I think Looks about the same. Yeah, I think we're keeping pace now. Okay, so I'm setting this... I set this at 50%. I don't know if it's going to make it at 50% even towing empties. Because the, the tractive effort is lower now, right? Like, it can't pull as much. I'm just trying to gauge how high I have to set it to come back. You know what I mean? 69%. Okay, I think... I think 69 percent's the number. If I set it at 69, 70 percent, somewhere around there, it'll make it back. This one definitely can do it at 69. Yeah, you probably have more attractive effort. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll set them to 70 when they come back, and then when you send them to me, you'll probably have to set them to the same, like 70 percent. You think sending them down the way? Yeah, because there's still a little bit of uphills after the end, you know, when you're towing five cars fully loaded, right? Right. 
Or we just say screw it and set him to 100. Yeah, let's just say can... screw it and set it to 100. I mean, worst case, what, we derail? Yeah, why don't, why don't we save after we fill it? True. For the first one, and just test it? And just send it, yeah. Okay. Alright, braking. Alright. I think I'm gonna overshoot this. Oh, I totally did. Holy cow, it takes a long time to break. Yeah. Well, you can fix that. No big deal. Yeah. All right, so you start loading this switch uh, right here. You know this one at the wooden bridge here? This is the one you're going to have to flick back and forth. Right? Okay. So, so every time you release a train, you're going to have to flick it, let the train go, and then flick it back so that it, you know, lets the trains come back in, right? Right. All right, I'm at the sawmill. Okay. How, uh, how much have you loaded? Two cars. That's pretty good. Yeah. You only have five to load? All right, and then I got my loop set up now, so the trains will come in. I'll slow them down, and then I'll send them back out. And we have zero logs in the pond, so we need 100 to fill the pond. Excellent. And then the log products, I believe, are still one-to-one-to-one. -to -one -to -one. I'm just going to check that real quick, because they did all change recently, but I think they're still one-to-one-to-one. -to -one -to -one. Do they still only fill if you take from another pile? Yes. Yeah, they're one to one to one still. So one B okay. plus one lumber from one log. So we have uh, 46 lumber and we've got 63 beams. So I'm actually going to sit here and just crane beams onto the track to get them down to 46 as well. All right. So it's going to take us 154 logs to fill this whole thing because I want to fill up the two supply things, the beams and the lumber, and then fill up the the pond itself. Although it's kind of stupid because the beams and the lumber get consumed at different rates from different industries. So it's not really like keeping them even. They're only going to be perfectly full like once. And then as soon as I go to do a trip, it's going to be different numbers. You know what I mean? Like it's not right. You're going to consume gonna more, more lumber than beams. Now imagine we did this same thing, but for every industry. So you just have one person who works each industry and that's it. That's their whole job. Just send cars back and forth. Oh, send trains. Like, ah, oh, we got train number four coming in on the main line. We need you to fill it up with uh, half lumber, half beams, and send it down line 36. And it's like, oh, okay. That'd be amazing, actually. And then someone else sent the iron by, like, yeah, I need a delivery, please. Like, <laughs> it's just <laughs> running each industry. Trains are just that all driving back and forth. No one's driving them. <laughs> all right. Well, I got one more log to go, and then you can save. Okay, sick. Oh yeah, just to make sure like... the first train makes it. That would be a good idea. Yes. All right, I've saved the game. Um, remember to flick your switch at the bottom of the bridge to release it, and then flick it back. Then full reg, or you know what? Do like eighty percent reg, even. I think you'll be fine, right? Like, or you 80? can do full. Screw it, just do full. Who cares? Rather it get here than get stuck. All right, hundred percent. It is on the way. I'm going to flip the switch now. Which one is it? The original Betsy? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to make sure it makes it through the first corner. And it disappeared. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. the, the multiplayer view distance. Yep. Oh, Hopefully no. you see it soon. <laughs> oh, I hope I see it soon. Yep. I'll wait. You know, I'm going to wait a couple minutes. Uh, if it doesn't show up, then I'm going to walk backwards down the track. You just keep, you know what, I'm going to wait until your next train is loaded. And if it's if it's not here by the time your next train is loaded, then I think we've got some problems. True. Well, I am in the next train now, and uh, we're pulling up. Perfect. Start loading. Perfect. I'm just sitting here waiting. Nice. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's coming. You see it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's, Let's go. Let's go. There it is, right around the corner. Uh, I just, you know what, the cylinder cocks are on. It's like literally... Like, got steam <laughs> coming, shooting out the sides of it. Yup. Oh, uh, that's so funny. <laughs> Dude, that's great. That's actually fantastic. Here it comes. Nice. So I can send it quick. back right away. Yeah, you could, because I'm going to be loading here for a while. Yeah, so I'm going to unload it and send it back right away at full reg. Oh my god, do this is amazing. I can't believe it worked. <laughs> I just see it That's come awesome. around the distance. It's so good. All right. Slowing her down. Holy I'll cow. It takes forever to slow down. What the heck? Really? Dude, it's like yeah. I got full brake and it's still just 
flying. I'm gonna overshoot. So the only thing I see that could make this better is a full loop with no switches. True, like a perfect loop. Yeah. Yeah, with no with no switches, so we don't have to switch back and forth. I agree, hundred percent. I don't have a full loop though, so. Yeah. But this is this is not bad. Only one switch each is pretty good. Yeah, I overshot this like mad, like the unload area. Really? <laughs> oh yeah, I just gotta back up and then it'll be fine. Perfect. It might make it back here just in time. Yeah, just make your switch is set to receive it, right? Like you flipped it yes. back right away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of just like I set the reg and now it's looping around the sawmill and then I'm gonna just wait till it passes and then flick flick, you know? Right. This is awesome. This is gonna work, man. I it already feels faster, you know? It feels so fast. We're making progress. Made yeah, some money. Up to twenty one hundred dollars. I can't believe it. Uh, it actually works. I know, right? It's amazing. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Leaving the sawmill. Clear the line. And see you later, Betsy. All right, so what was the timing on that? Like 30 seconds when it showed up? Maybe, maybe a minute to get here. Like probably less. Yeah, 30, 45 seconds maybe. All right, I'm working on the last two cars now. If I could finish before it gets here, it'd be amazing. Yeah, and then you just got to make sure you, you got to catch this train before you let the other one go. That's the thing. Right. Because, like, it's got to clear the switch before you let the other one go, number one. And if you try and, like, like release them at the same time, it'll be going so fast through the, the logging camp, you'll, you know, it'll smash into the back of your other one probably, right? Right. All right, Betsy's gone. Should be getting there soon. I put it at 73% reg, something like that. Should be more than enough. I just need three more crane pulls. This is, like, the coolest <laughs> thing we've ever done. Uh, even I'm though we're not even driving the trains. I'm just hoping it pops in that while I'm doing this <laughs> so I just can see it. To be fair, I was a little slow on the unload. If I had braked the car sooner, like I'm going to grab it sooner and start braking sooner. If I had done that, I would have been faster on the unload without having to reverse and all that. Well, here it is. Is it there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's sick. Ah, oh, it's so good. You said 100%, right? From yeah, 100% coming this way. I'll send them back with a little less because they're empty. But if you set the original at 100%, I mean, it made it no problem, so. Right. All right, switch is flicked. I'm assuming the heavier one would also make it no problem. That's leaving. I still don't see the original Betsy. That's good. All, All right. right, the next one is on the way. Perfect. I'll just sit here and wait. There it is. Betsy 2. Let's go. Really? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, why do you keep turning the cylinder cocks on, bro? <laughs> I just see this like I see the steam first before I even see the uh the train itself. <laughs> That's so funny. This is awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. Alright, so how many times do we need to do this now? Five total plus oh no six, I guess, but the sixth one will be two only like four logs on it or something. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna nice. be a flawless unload. Then I get off and just click enter as they go by. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. Literally a flawless unload. Nice. Did it as it was passing by, and then I'll run up to the cab, flick the regulator back up. I feel like you can't quad load here anymore. Oh yeah, they might have changed it. I don't honestly know. Alright, now I just gotta run back, click the switch. Yeah, well, they did have some notes about changing some of the unload areas and, like, putting arrows to make the indicator better and stuff. So they might have actually made it so you can't do the, like, log right in the middle of two things anymore. Well, you can still do that. I just feel like they're closer together. I feel like you can only do three at a time now. Oh, I see. Gotcha. It doesn't matter. You got five cars anyway. Holy cow, Betsy 2 is flying, dude. <laughs> is it? It looks so funny when you got the cylinder cocks full open too. It's just like putting steam everywhere. <laughs> We're gonna just close those. I think they do bleed a little bit of pressure, but not much. All right, it's on its way back. Track's clear, right? You're good to receive. Uh, track's clear. I am good to receive. All right, it's going. 
Okay, you did that one a bit faster. I might need to. That was a faster unload for me, so it worked out. Yeah, that one, Betsy too, never stopped. Like I, I cut the rag. No, I cut the rag, turned the brake on it a little bit to slow it down, unloaded all the cars while it was rolling, like just coasting through, turned the rag back on, jumped off, got the switch, and then let it go. Like I never it never got to a complete stop. Wow. Just kept going. You think four more oh it's here. <laughs> uh, two more crane pulls, there we go. Run over here, catch it. All right, I'll be a little... I'll go a little slower on the unload. I'll bring it to a complete stop, unload it, and then start it back up again. All right, sending her on her way. Um, she needs fire when she, when she gets there. Okay. I will All manage right. it. I'll, I'll put the fuel in and stuff, yeah. 100%. Here she comes. This is number three? Three. Nice. The pond has residual logs in it now. Nice. That are not, that are not getting finished. Um, we have a total of six logs in the pond. So yeah, we Perfect. need three more full trains and then one train that has only four logs on it. All right. Well, you should be receiving that one here soon. Yes, yeah, so that'll be one out of three and then another two more and then four logs on the last one. But you can come on the last one as well. Oh, that's true. Just ride your way over here. Then this will be completely full for like the first time ever. 100, 100, 100. It'll be awesome. Wow. I hear that unlocks Super Beast creative mode or something. And then you get like an extra diesel engine, you know, that just, just does all the work for you. It's this, it's a crazy Easter egg thing that they hid that no one was supposed to know about. Oh, that sounds amazing. Actually. Yeah. Or maybe you have to unlock, actually, maybe you have to max out every industry. I'm not sure. I think it was, there's mm. some thing about it, you know? Right, right. Well, I, I see like, the train. That's that. good. I just see it slowly, like, rolling around the corner and then coming up the hill and just, you know, it's just casually just doing its just thing. Casually driving? Why no is one... someone dropping logs? Oh, it's not. Okay. No one's actually driving the train. <laughs> yeah, it's just chilling. It just shows up. Hey, Betsy, how you doing? <laughs> Busy day, eh? Yeah. Yeah, hard at work, huh? Yeah, hard at work. Alright, I'm gonna break. Oh, I can't climb. I need to I need to re-engineer this. I can't even jump up onto it from the one side. Really? Yeah, just because of how like my platform's built up above the log pond, you know? I when you you can't jump the height to get onto the car when it's up on the doesn't matter, it's not really a big deal. Right. Just gotta walk around instead of jumping through the cars, that's all. Alright, that's unloaded. Perfect, so 70% reg. Oh, wow, that was awesome. No break. Toot, toot. Do you hear that at all? No. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Alright, I'm releasing this one back onto the track. Perfect. This feels faster, right? Like... Than doing it normally? Doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like we're loading well, yeah. this, like, getting the industry full way faster than if we were doing it the... The normal way. I mean, I guess the argument is it's 10 cars moving no matter what. But I guess well, the thing is, though, you're never, like, not loading. And I'm never not, like, unloading. So it's just constantly using the industry. Ooh. Whereas with 10 cars, you have to spend the whole time loading all 10 and then drive. And then while you're driving, you could be loading more cars, but there's more no cars there to load, right? Release it onto the track just now. It's gone? Yeah. On the way? Yeah. Cool. So I guess this would be faster, because you're never not using the cranes. Right. Which is the slowest part. I think it could be faster, though. If we had more people to constantly man the cranes and pull the trains in. Yeah, if you had a second person helping you. Yes. Yeah, you only really need one where I am. But if you had two people loading, I feel like you're right. That would be way... And maybe even put three trains on the track. Although two seems to be the right number. Maybe six cars instead of five. All right, I'm waiting to receive the train. Are you fully loaded? Mm, no, I've got two more crane pulls. Okay. While I'm waiting. All right, update. We're at 100 out of 100 lumber and 100 out of 100 beams. Those numbers Excellent. are perfect. That's so sick. That's 
this was perfect timing. I was able to fully load this train. Now I can go in the receiving lane. Yeah, I just have to stop, basically. If I bring it to a full stop, then it's... And we're at 36 out of 100 logs. Sending it on its way. I can't believe the track is smooth enough that they don't derail. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> like, it's just... At full. It, just go... Yeah, at full. Yeah, down that hill and everything. Like, it's, it's crazy. All right. Passing the switch now. Sick. So that'll be, um... The next train you gotta fill full as well, and then when I send this one back, it'll be the last train with only four on it, and then you can just come with it. Perfect. Perfect. Come see the fruits of our labor. Dude, this is quick. This is so much faster than <laughs> doing single train loads. Oh, Betsy didn't make it this time. I think I put too much brake on. Oh, no, there she is. She's coming a little slower. You know what this really makes me want to do, though? What? It really makes me want to make a gravity line. Like, a line where you're at the logging camp up on the hill, and it's like 0.25% down the whole way to the sawmill. And you just fill mm -hmm. up cars and send them down the line without an engine. Yeah, no engines. Yeah, and then you catch them here, hook them up to an engine, and send them back up. That would be pretty awesome. But I mean, obviously this line can't do it. There's ups and downs between where you are and where I am. So, it needs power. Right. Hey, Betsy, too. How you doing? I see you coming in. <laughs> so nice. great. Thank you. Jump in. No reg. Hit the brake. Perfect. I feel like I'm working an actual crane job right now. I know, right? Like, I feel like I'm like, I don't know what it is. Like, some sort of like, sh like, like conduct not a conductor but like a yard engineer or something you know you're just managing trains as they come in and out you're not really like driving them it's weird right it's like a whole different way to play this game shipping and receiving yeah exactly yeah <laughs> uh money update i guess we are up to three thousand bucks i think i started with like 1400 or something so okay 1600 bucks i think has been made so far something like that 66 logs out of 100 Nice. Uh, gonna send Betsy 2 back now. 70%, 73% reg. Sure, that'll do. Perfect. I'm a little behind on this one. On That's this okay. That's the last full one, by the way. Excellent. So you'll be pretty much chasing that one when you come out with Betsy 2, because it'll have, like, just four logs, and then you can drive it, you know? Right. All right, next time we got to do this with the iron mine, right? And just... Oh, yeah, definitely but I need to rebuild all the track from the sawmill to the iron mine so you can just send it and receive it on one line. True. Although that would take a long time for the trains to get there. Yeah, we know we know we'd have to have a train in between. Three like trains. three trains. Yeah. That would be crazy. We need more cars to do that. But yeah, three trains. You're right. Which means we need three engines that can do that run. Betsy 2 just leaving the switch, by the way. Perfect. So I got a little bit of time here. Nice. Yeah, I guess you could do it with three trains. Have one in transport, one at the end, and one at the beginning, and then they'd all... Everything would be perfect. Yeah, your turnaround time is definitely longer than mine. Yeah, well, the loading. I mean, if we had one less car... Yeah, one quicker. less car, or one extra person. Yeah, one extra person would help a lot. Yeah. Because I could have been sending this on its way already. Yeah, someone's sending and receiving trains while the other person just literally clicks cranes. Right. So now the last car, Betsy 2, the one that just arrived, uh, you just need four logs, and then you can come with it. Cool. And you might as well chase Betsy down the track, because it, it won't really matter. Well, if I can catch up, it's at 100. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think you're going to catch it, but, like, you know. Right. Follow it down the track anyway. Oh, there it is. Betsy. Nice. Five cars, perfect. All right, I'm on my way. With the last four, excellent. Yep. I guess we could have just overfilled it. It wouldn't have mattered because it will. It just won't give us money for the other ones. You know, like you could have filled up six just in case my math is wrong, but I think it's right. Um, please let me. I've done this in time. Oh, that was close. All right. I'm along for the last ride. Watch it derails the last one. Yeah, I know, right? Because it's empty going down <laughs> instead of full. It doesn't have the weight to keep it on the track, maybe. 
Yeah. 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 Nice. All right. Unloaded that. 96 out of 100 logs. Perfect. We are missing only four. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. This is possibly. The switch is good for you. I haven't, like, so you should be able to come in and roll right in. Right. It's so, automated. Yeah. I'm going to see what your end looked like. Oh, well, I'm not ready to receive right now. I'm, I'm pulling Betsy around. Oh. And I'm doing it. I'm, I'm driving it so that it doesn't overshoot. I'm coming in hot. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I don't see you yet. Here I come, across the bridge. Okay, well, you might have slammed the brake there a little bit, champ. Uh-oh. Are you going to be there or no? <laughs> no, not yet. Nope. Where? Oh, All hold right. on. Hold on, where are you? I'm here. I'm at the switch. Oh, I, you got, I got time. I got time. You're nowhere close. What do you mean nowhere close? It's yeah, you were just right you were just about to get here, but look at this, just boom. Whoa. Oh god, I missed the thing. Break, 100%. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. Right, so this is close to what you did, because you don't yeah, really I have would, one I had to, time. See, look, this one stops on the dime, holy cow. Well, it's empty. Yeah, it's empty, but when it was full, I had to start them breaking at the top of the bridge, like the very top, otherwise it just wasn't, wasn't gonna do it. Really? Wow. Yeah, it was just too much. Oh, look at that. This should be the final load. We're just going to wait till they get on the ramp so we don't screw it up. Perfect. What if you... What if you could have no gradient and, like, you had the cranes constantly offloading at the logging camp and you just sent the cars... Or you sent the trains going really slow. Like, you had a, like, 300-car-long train? And then you, then you just ran it all day and just let the train go I round mean, and round. Theoretically, <laughs> you could, like, if you made the train enough cars to go from point A to point B with, like, three or four porters on it, and the porters are all just, like, pushing it slowly. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Oh, uh, you need an automated unlo unloader, too. Like, you need, like, a macro yeah. that would well, keep standing need, You here. still need two people. And you gotta have somebody who can, like, go into all the engines and check their water levels and stuff. No, I was thinking about how to automate it. Like, no people. Like, oh. you know, lead leave a person or a, you know a thing here macro with a enter button i mean it would be cool and the devs did talk about upgrading industries maybe at some point you can automate an industry to auto unload rather than have to you know do it for yourself but yeah i guess you could just have someone mashing enter this was a good run though yeah. thirty three hundred dollars now which is good back up to getting some money uh not enough to do anything meaningful i want to buy more iron cars i have more iron i might have to just do some iron runs just for fun but yeah i want to buy more iron cars because i've got like a bunch of iron at the iron mine how many do you have now i have four but they're Maybe like 800 a six? piece aren't they you want like six more right i want six more i want to get 10 they're 850 wow. a piece bro man that's like that's wow. like wait how much is that that's uh 16 something well, six six times eight hundred is what four hundred and eight forty eight hundred bucks or something. Seventeen hundred for two. Seventeen hundred for two. So it's like thirty four hundred gets me four. Oh god, yeah, it's like five six grand, man. That's brutal. Wow. That's not that's a five fifty one hundred dollars. Did we do did we yeah. do good math there? I think we did, right? Something I don't like that. Know. I hope so. But yeah, let us know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. See ya. Bye.